Hi, I'm Marlana, and today we're talking about nursery rhymes. When looking for an interactive learning experience for your 24 to 36 month old, look no further than nursery rhymes. Nursery rhymes and action rhymes combine movement and music, rhythm, repetition, and yes, rhyming to get your kids wiggling, giggling, and learning. The rhythms in nursery rhymes help children hear the individual sounds that make up words, and that trains their brains to pay attention to those distinct sounds. Of course, you can hear the difference in one, two, buckle my shoe. Well, you can use nursery rhymes to help your two to three year old learn to do that too. Nursery rhymes also have verbal patterns and that allows your little one to predict what comes next. Old Mother Hubbard went to the cupboard. And that ability to recognize patterns, even verbal ones, and to use them to predict what comes next will strengthen your child's math reasoning as well as their reading skills. Nursery rhymes introduce rich vocabulary too. How often does your toddler hear uncommon words like cupboard or fleece or water spout or nimble or kettle? Finally, nursery rhymes offer all kinds of opportunities for your little one to develop both fine and gross motor skills. Picture those sweet little fingers working really hard to make that little spider climb up his water spout. And how cute is it going to be when you see your little one, your little teapot, tip over to be poured out? You can show them how to roll their hands for the wheels on the bus, and then you could teach them how to, the wipers go swish, swish, swish. And as their hands go from side to side, they're crossing that midline, and they're strengthening connections in their brain. You can teach them teddy bear, teddy bear, turn around, and they'll be learning how to follow multiple step instructions. That's an important step for a two-year-old, you know. And then there's always five little monkeys jumping on the bed. That's just silly fun. And they'll be busy laughing and learning. When using nursery rhymes, be confident, sing slowly, speak clearly, and use props like stuffed animals. You can see I brought a little monkey to jump on the bed. And you can use those actions that we talked about and go to the library. We have lots of books of nursery rhymes. You can check them out for your child or for yourself if you need a refresher. Nursery rhymes and action rhymes are so wonderful, but I think the best thing about them is that your relationship will be cemented by the time that you spend with your little one, maybe on your lap or maybe dancing around the floor, clapping, singing, laughing, rhyming, and learning. Thanks for listening.